Hello, everyone, and happy after holidays or during holidays. And oh, yeah. So today we th I thought we would work with Archangel Azriel. This is from the D Diana Cooper's um, deck, and she spells it with an I. I've seen other people spell it with an A. So um, it just depends, I suppose, on you know, how the Brits, she's British and the Brits um, spell things a little differently than we do sometimes. But anyway, it's the same angel. And Azriel is in charge of transitions. He is there when people, um, when they are born and when they die, when all beings are born or die, are dying. And he has a team of angels that helps with that. And if you would look at the wings, this is going to be important for our meditation today. We're going to use this visual because what he will, what we're going to do today is make a little cocoon. And we're going to also work with the spirit keeper of the West. And if you would see, it's kind of the same kind of color of that, that bright sun in this card and the bright light in the middle of this cocoon. And his wings are black because they absorb the emotions of the transition. And then once we get all through the process of with the spirit keeper of the West, then we're going to have the spirit keeper of the East. And if you will see, there's a baby in there. It will represent what the new project is and we'll take on that from the spirit keeper of the east these are from denise lynn's native spirit decks these spirit keepers okay let's start so just get yourself in a comfortable position seated or lying you can have your feet on the floor or your back on the floor something where your bones are touching some sort of bone is touching the floor And then just begin to follow your breath, remembering that with each breath in, we are consciously taking in spirit. And with each breath out, we are letting go. So just starting with that simple concept, bringing spirit in, and then letting go. Relaxing your body as much as you can as you focus on the breath. The muscles in your face relax, the shoulders, the arms, the elbows, the hands. upper torso, the upper back, mid back, stomach, sit bones, hips, sacral area, where the legs attach to the hips, the knees, the upper and lower legs, the ankles and the feet. So feeling your sit bones and if your feet are touching the floor, your feet, just identify that physical space connected to the earth. And from that, if your feet are on the ground, you can make a tripod of cords of from the sit bones and both feet. If, you're, if your feet are not on the ground, you can just use the sit bones or the hips if you're lying on your back and just make a grounding cord. And if you're using the tripod image, at some point they meet. So perhaps three feet below you at the earth star chakra is where the tripod of grounding cords meet and merge into one, or maybe yours is further down. 
just making that connection with the center of the earth so that we're nice and grounded for this process. And once you feel, see, or know that connection, bring your attention back to your breath. So breathe into that connection, grounded with the earth. Knowing that you are safe. And we'll thank Archangel Azriel for coming us with us today in this process. In those wings that I pointed out in the middle of or in the beginning of this meditation. I can hold the card up again if you need to see it. The outsides of the wings are black. He's going to be standing behind us and wrapping these wings around us. And if you can identify or face and or face the West, this would be, that would be great. And that light that we're gonna fill, he's gonna wrap those wings around us for safety. And the black in the wings is gonna absorb any emotions, any fears we have of letting go of anything. And we're going to let the source. So from above, there's a group of angel like beings called seraphim. They are very close to source and they deliver source energy. They're going to bring that down into this light in the middle of these wings that are wrapped around us. So we're going to be encased in light in this process from source via the seraphim and archangel Azrael. And he just wants us to breathe for a moment in this light, knowing we are safe facing the West, honoring the setting sun, the spirit keeper of the West. And we're gonna let this ball of light represent whatever we're letting go. It may be things, it may be a physical location, it may be aspects, characteristics of yourself that no longer serve you. You may know exactly what is wrapped up in this ball of light inside, still inside of this cocoon for now, inside of the wings. Just take a moment and breathe. And you can just ask Osriel, show me whatever I need to let go. Or let me feel it. But let me know it. I'm just going to be let go with the ultimate of love for the highest good. And begin to let this light form into a ball that looks very much in like the sun, the color of the setting sun. So you can put whatever colors you want into it. And then Azrael is gonna open a little pathway in this cocoon from his wings, opening the wings up in front of you if you're facing the west or just imagine you're facing it if you don't, if you're not. And just give that ball of light, let it be added to the setting sun. And watch all of the colors. And just see where your sun is setting, over mountains, over water, over a field. And then see who shows up. I'm seeing all kinds of light beams showing up to witness 
our letting go, our guardian angel. I see everyone's guardian angel there witnessing this let go with this setting sun. Perhaps your ancestors, if you're letting go of ancestral traits or qualities or behaviors. Perhaps some animals. And keep watching until the sun completely sets. And then Azrael is going to close up those wings, making a cocoon again. And if you're facing the west, you're going to let the spirit keeper of the east bring some light through the back of your heart into this cocoon. And we'll ask source now to fill it up with the vibration of new beginnings. So another ball of light is forming in this cocoon with us, around us. We are safe and protected. With each inhale, we are letting the seraphim bring us the source light to nurture this new birth. And inside of this ball of light, Azrael is going to offer us a gift. It may be wrapped up. It may be just a feeling. It may be something you see. It may be something that you know that you are birthing. It may have nothing to do or seemingly nothing to do with the birth with this new creation, this new ball of light. What is your gift? It may be that he's showing you what your inner gift is that's going to be ignited, illuminated this year, this coming year. And just breathe and be with this gift. Accept it into your heart. And then you can either turn around or you can imagine facing the east or you can let this ball of light, the wings open from the back side of you if you're still facing the west, however you want to do it. And then give this ball of light, this gift to the spirit keeper of the east, the rising sun. And watch the light get stronger, get brighter as the sun rises and illuminates this gift to the world, to your world and to the world. We're gonna keep watching the sunrise until it gets right above us so that it merges with the source light that's coming in through the top of our head. And the seraphim are gonna come down and they're going to draw an infinity symbol right above our head. Right about three feet above your head, which is your stellar gateway chakra, which helps you open 
to the light of source. Put that infinity symbol there. Representing birth and death being the same, uniting in the middle. Infinity is like a figure eight. If you don't know what that is, I can also hold up the card because it's above here on Osriel's. You can see where it is on him if you want to peek and look. But it's kind of like this bright light infinity symbol about three feet above your head. <clears throat> and then Azrael's gonna open his wings which have absorbed any emotions that come with this letting go with this birth. And he's going to turn into the form of a butterfly and just kind of flitter around you now, enjoying this light, this sunshine. And he's going to fly off we're going to thank him for helping us go through this, easing us through this transition, for helping us let go, for giving us the gift now and helping illuminate this gift to our world. Just take in a few breaths and let him fly away knowing that he has left us with this shining bright ball of light around us coming from source. Illuminating this gift. So we'll put the gift, it exists in our heart and it also is given, it exists in this infinity symbol So it's in us and it's above us and it exists in this light that's around us. So that everyone benefits from this gift that you were given, this gift that grew in this cocoon, this new path, this new way, this new something habit, perhaps. And then this ball of light is going to ground in the earth star chakra as well, three feet below you, so that we remain grounded as we walk through our day. And just being aware having this light around us as we move through our day. And bring your hands into your heart, touch your heart with your thumbs and reach your fingers out into the room, the community, the world, so that we remember we hold the gift in our heart and it reaches out from our heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here today. We we'll thank Azriel, the source, the seraphim. And just relax with each inhale today. Let source come in. Being consciously aware that we have that ability to be illuminated through source with each breath in. We have the ability to let go with each breath out. Namaste, everyone. Happy New Year to you.